$25,000 Utah treasure was buried a little more than seven weeks ago. And now hunt organizers Dave and John say it's been found by someone from out of state. That is the first time that has happened. A woman from Iowa found it yesterday. Fox 13 News anchor Amy Nay spoke to her. So it kind of started like laying in bed one morning, just scrolling on Facebook. So I'm like, oh, Utah, too far away. But then it just kind of like stuck in the back of my head. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to go for this. So three attempts out there and I finally brought it home. So <laughs> Chelsea That's Gatto so from Pella, me. Iowa, speaking to me where she pulled over on the side of the road in Nebraska, driving home to be back to work in the morning after a weekend trip where she uncovered the buried $25,000 Utah treasure. All right, guys, here we are in Bountiful, Utah. That's Dave and John from Utah Treasure Hunts, the pair starting this online challenge during the pandemic. The it's the fourth annual hunt, the first, they say, that was found by someone who came in from outside the state and found with multiple clues they post on social media 51 days later. I'm just a normal person. <laughs> and as a little kid, like, I did treasure hunts in our town. She says her family couldn't afford to go to the local equivalent to Lagoon and when the radio station did a treasure hunt for tickets. Just put the pieces together. Me and my sisters would drive our bikes all over town, clear out to this reservoir. We joked about it yesterday too. They're like, do you remember that? I'm like, it was in the back of my head this whole time. After 36 hours of no sleep to get here and look for the treasure. Taking 16 hours driving to get back out here this weekend, she thought she had put the pieces together and knew where to look after her two previous trips and new clues online. So I also want to point out how difficult. They said a few swipes of the hand, you know. So I was clearing these pine cones and all these prickly things off of there and I was like oh my gosh and I did like two swipes and I wasn't getting anywhere but then I just kept like swiping away at it and like I felt the very top of like these nodules on the top of the chest and I just fell over like I did I quit even like digging at that time I was just like oh my gosh <laughs> I just found it and that's what I like I stopped I was like okay you found it just breathe an exciting moment for Chelsea but for passerbys who sent us these pictures they snapped right after that moment they say they were concerned for her thinking she was hurt only later realizing those were tears of joy she was crying and I thought something was wrong with her so I just said are you okay and she said yes I just found the treasure and she's crying and she sat it down and I knew when she said that it was this treasure that, you know, everybody's looking for. Polly Jones was first to find Chelsea on the trail after she'd uncovered the treasure chest full of cash. And she opened it up and showed me the money. She was so sweet, just telling us her story and how hard she had worked. She really worked hard to figure that out. So I'm really happy for her that she found that. It's great. I took a look at the uh, challenge and I didn't even get past the first little riddle, you know, <laughs> but it was, it was fun to kind of think about it. I know she said she'd never watched Back to the Future and she actually watched it, I think, the night before so she could figure out the clue that, you know, the DeLorean hits a pine tree. And that's how she figured out it was under a pine tree. A reminder, Polly said, of all the good in the world. I walked away. It made my day. Just made my day. While Chelsea, at just 38, said she learned so much on this adventure, but was most inspired by people like Polly and others she encountered out there living their best lives. I mean, just seeing that older generation out there, like, still living so free. Oh my gosh, no treasure! Yes, I'm okay! <laughs> and as for another treasure hunt several states from home? I'm thinking maybe next year. Admitting it's a hard habit to quit. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah. Yeah, I...